Well, you guys, if you saw our last video, we know, you know that we just bought a U-Force 1000 from CF Moto. That's right. But you yeah. know what? It's not mountain ready. It it's not mountain. mountain ready for us. Yep. So we're 9,300 feet winters from October to May, June. So yeah, it can snow most of the year here. So to be able to use it year round and more comfortable up in the mountains and more appropriate, we've gotten some key accessories right, to right. to trick it out. Yeah, we need to make it weatherproof. And so yeah. how do you do that? So. Yeah, because these aren't, sorry, but uh, these, <laughs> these aren't gonna cut it. <laughs> it might gonna, keep you from falling out the, the side, but. It might keep a stick from hitting you if <laughs> yeah. we're going through the woods, but yeah. this is not gonna keep us warm on days like today. Yeah. So we got a big trip. We're going to head down to Longmont, pick up our order of some of our, our key accessories that we got. Okay, got the trailer hooked up. Today's a big day. Big day. Getting some modifications. Modifications? Getting some mods for the four-wheel. <laughs> all right, so I'll meet you down at the bottom of the driveway so we'll get our accessories all loaded up. Sounds good. Okay. Have fun. Well, I gotta say, it, that was a chilly drive down the driveway without a windshield. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> so it's gonna be a totally different experience once we get that windshield on. Windshields yeah. and doors. And yeah. Yeah. Completely buttoned up. Yeah. So let's okay. show people what we picked up here. It's all in the package, but we've got our initials accessory pack from CF Moto. This is what we ordered to go with our base unit. And that is what we just said, the windshield, yep. right? And we ordered doors, so hard door closures. So we'll have a contained area. And then we got the, we got a plow. So this is the the push bar for the plow right there and then i got the plow over there rear window we're going to pack it all up get it up the hill up the driveway and uh, we will start unpacking and show you guys what it looks like so the reason why we did not take this up on the trailer up the driveway is well if you saw last week's video ryan got the truck stuck on a patch of ice and it started sliding backwards so even though it's not quite as icy today Better safe than sorry. And the dog's going next. brought every piece up here, took them out of the box. We're going to show you what they look like. First up is the door. <laughs> hey, so nice solid door, not a half door, but a full door and got a nice little blue accent stripe. And I think we'll get the safety film off the window. So we'll be able to see out of them, but pretty yeah. solid. Yeah. And it's fully gasketed as well. So, right. uh, so it should seal up pretty nice. And uh, if we ever get heat, it'll seal some heat and create nice climate control. Yeah, I mean, so. windows open, the air comes in this way, so it scoops it in. So. Yeah. All right, next. Okay, so this one is the rear windshield. Right, and we got the real glass. So it'll be nice and easy to clean. It's not gonna get scratched up over time. All right, next. Front windshield. Front windshield. Yep. Again, glass. There's some little air vents right there. Looks like. Right. And then a spot for a wiper. So when you want to add a windshield wiper, you can do that. So. Right. Okay. 
Okay, last one is the plow. It's a six foot plow, so. Pretty heavy duty. Pretty solid, yeah. Yep. Should do the trick, I think. So, so job for today is see what we can get put on the machine. That's right. Big transformation ahead. Yeah, maybe we can uh, test out the plow later on, see how Ooh. well it works. All right, well, I see you got one door on. Is there anything that people should know about installing the door? So you gotta put this piece of plastic, this molding, you have to uh, slide that onto the, the door first. You know, it can't be secured yet. So okay. you can tighten, all these are self-centering. So all these screws on the inside are loose so that you can mess with the door and adjust with it, adjust it. So I, I tighten these up so I could open the door and then put these screws on. And then when I close it, then I can put this back on. Okay. So that's kind of tricky. So you just have to thread through that covering. Right. Thread through the hinge. Because once forth. this is in place, you can't get to the screws. Right. Okay. It covers the screw. Exactly. Um, I did sh um, kind of shim the door a little bit with a piece of wood on the bottom to kind of help with the alignment. But, like putting in a regular door on a house or a shed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so one thing I was trying to get tight was up here. Actually, when I was putting the door, I had a gap here. Okay. So now there's, there's very little gap there. So, so that's what I was trying when I, I was lifting the door earlier. And now, so I tightened the center screw here and then see how well the door shut. But we had it a little too high because then it didn't latch here. Okay. So the latch, this piece here is not adjustable. So, so you're doing all your adjusting on the- On the, these hinges, on these pieces here. So see how you got a nice slide. Oh, okay. Uh, a slot there so you can adjust a good centimeter back and forth. And here you can see the slots, so. Yeah. And you might be wondering why there's a silver screw there. Oh, I didn't notice that you just pointed it out. Yeah, silver screw as opposed to a black one. Well, okay. this hole here, and so I couldn't get the screw in. Of course, I had it standing up, and it wasn't, and there's just enough space to lose a screw. Okay. A bolt right there. <laughs> Cautionary tale, don't <laughs> lose your screws down the, down the hole. <laughs> So the windshield's pretty straightforward. Just uh, there's yeah, two tabs on the inside that where it gets secured up there. Right. And then this is all more vinyl or plastic. Right. So right. we're not even screws. They're just body plugs. Oh, okay. So just drill through here. It's, yeah, it's narrow there, so when you push that in, it spreads this apart. Oh, okay. So. All right, one more back windshield, and it's almost ready to try out. I know, yeah. <laughs> so on the rear windshield, similar to the front, you've got the steel tabs that you're putting on. Right. Yeah. So it's got clips for the, the bottom portion, okay. so it just hooks on here. Okay. And then there's uh, bolts that go through the holes in the windshield. What did you say about the roof? Uh, I think a lot, some four-wheeler brands, you don't get a roof. Like, you have to pay extra for it. Yeah. That's cool. This one, the U-Force, yeah. comes with a stock roof. Pretty cool. Okay, tip it up. All right, now it looks like you're on to the plow section. I am, it's coming along pretty good. So the, the bracket, they don't show it in the instructions having the hitch mount on the front. So 
this is about a quarter inch plate so I have to put some spacers behind so I probably need to get some longer bolts all right this is the this mount is, this is the push bar push bar okay Oh, I see. Hooks on there. There we go. Yeah, you don't want to drop that on your toe. All right. Big Daddy plow blade. Yeah. Now, what kind of uh, operational controls are you going to be able to have over this plow? <laughs> From the inside of the cab. <laughs> Up and down. Up and down. Okay. Okay. So, if you want to, like, we'll... Because the way our driveway is, you have to shift to where you're you're pushing the snow. Upper portion, when you're going down the upper portion, you want to push it down the hill. Yeah. And then you have to, so that's to the left, but then on the other part, you want to push it to the right. Right. So you have to, so there's a, this is the manual adjust here. Okay. So, so we switch, switch angles, left or right. Exactly. With that. But we'll be able, able to adjust inside, up and down. Inside will be up and down, yeah. Okay. Okay, so here is the control for the winch. So plugged in, we're going to uh, let that out and connect it to the plow. Okay. I go in. Okay. Ooh. There you go. Just like that. You still you want to be careful. <laughs> yeah. Not to go too far. So the last part is putting on the little skid shoes here. This is the easiest thing I'm doing all day. <laughs> Besides going for a drive. <laughs> okay. Boom. Boom. Now it's ready to ride. Now it's ready to ride. <laughs> all right, it's time to go for a ride. <laughs> we'll just turn around. Yeah, we had to winterize our CF Moto for the mountains because as you can see, it's starting to snow. Yes, <laughs> and uh, we already have one vehicle without a cab on it. So, yep. and he's like, let's get one something with a cab. 
Yeah. So. I pushed for the cab because we don't have a cab on our tractor. My arm still hurts from being twisted. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, we got a nice enclosure. I mean, we've got some wind gusts coming through right now, 20 miles an hour, and we were pretty cozy in there even without any heat. Yep. We got to try out the plow just a little bit just to get a taste of how it works, but. Yeah, it'll take a little get, getting used to. Yeah. So it's hard to see. So mm. um, I think once we get used to it, it'll be good. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, I just took it for a little spin, got picked up the mail down the road and uh, <laughs> got a sense of how it rides a little bit. We still got to check out the different settings of four wheel versus two wheel versus work mode and normal mode yep. to see what's the best driving for which condition. So yeah, yeah, good traction on the road. Roads are packed snow, so pretty slick. Mm -hmm. so yeah, uh, but, with uh, even with these lug tires, did really yeah. well getting up the snowy drives. We've got some really steep drives, including our driveway. Yeah, and I was one concern I had was plowing uphill, and I did a little bit going up there on the on the come, and it, it wasn't bogging down at all. It just kept mm -hmm. going right up the right up so, the hill. So I'm, Plenty of power to plow, even uphill. That's cool. Definitely, definitely. That's cool. And uh, well, we have, we're almost all the way winterized. There's one more addition, possibly two, that we'll add. Yep. Um, one has to do with the wheels, like I bet you can guess, but we'll show you in the next video. What we ordered to fully winterize this vehicle. And I think the cat's meow would be if we add a little heat inside. Yes. And then we'd just yep. be hanging out all day. <laughs> so yep. yeah. Yep. We're excited with our new U-Force 1000. So if you guys have one, let us know how you adapted it for your environment. Do you have the cab enclosure? What kind of setup do you have on yours? What are you using it for? We're gonna use it for work and play, I think. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I'm a fairly practical person, so I didn't wanna buy something that was strictly trail for going fast, but working around the house and being able to go on the trails is perfect. So. Mm -hmm. And we were told not to open it up the first try. So yeah. we think we topped out at about 30 miles an hour going down to the drive, going yeah. down the drive. Yeah. And so. that was just yeah. easy on the gas. So. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, got a lot of miles to go on this puppy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, stay tuned guys. If you want to see our adventures with CF Moto, the U-Force, building our homestead, Definitely subscribe and we'll take you along. Yeah, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, we appreciate you watching. So, All right, see you next time. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>